Third time's a charm. Sync. All right, lock those up. The thing that people ask me about quite a bit is right hand alternation. Steve, how does your right hand get so smooth? How can you play so fast? Um, uh, you know, the usual kind of stuff that... that uh... that allows playing very evenly and very succinctly, even if it's a simple part. Just making that sound even. And notice I'm using three fingers. Most people use only two, which is fine, or one, which is even better. A great guy named James Jamerson used one. But how do I get all three to sound the same? Well, in my years at, at BIT out in Hollyweird, California, uh, I developed a, an exercise which, which had, still has great results when I teach. Um, and it involves not actually playing notes, but playing mutes, so to speak. It's a mutant exercise. So I just, I'm going to put my left hand arbitrarily anywhere. I'm just going to throw it up there and I'm going to hit this note. It's a muted note. Uh, my goal, and I use this pattern a lot, one, two, three, four. See how even that sounds? My downbeat is, is accented, and then the notes in between, the triplets, are soft. Sounds simple. Now I bring my second finger into it. I want it to sound like the first finger. Not quite. There it is. One. Two. And those of you willing to go the distance, three. Now mind you, this took years to get it this even, so I don't expect you to do it with one little quick lesson here, but it's something to practice every day. Now I want to make the downbeat stronger and the middle notes even softer to develop more control. One finger. Two. Three. In that exercise, believe it or not, you practice that two or three minutes a day, you're going to have a better right hand, and it makes a difference between this which is kind of dirty, it won't really translate in the studio, into this. bigger. Two. Three. Right hand. Ta-ta.